Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel. And of course, like I said, we are at a milestone where we are feature complete on the next version of Windows 10, which is version 2004. That's the version that will come out in the spring of 2020. So we are still, you know, a little, uh, we're still not that far away, but you know, a few months away. And um, of course, it is feature complete. We know that it's feature complete. So one of the things that you might want to actually see is, um, well, what's new in it? Okay, first of all, one of the uh, things that they're gonna show you is that version number is now version 2004, Bill 19.033 is what we have as of today, November 27th. That won't be the final build. There's gonna be other updates in the next weeks that will actually uh, fix bugs and make this even better as time goes by. So that's what's gonna happen here. Um, what are the features, the main features that you might want to know about in this uh, version of Windows 10? Well, a uh, kind of upgraded Cortana experience, first of all, with a window that uh, floats and can be moved around wherever you want. It also has a better way of actually understanding and displaying information. So when you ask stuff uh, like what's the weather or stuff like that, it, it's going to actually, uh, you know, uh, work in a different way. You can actually have it full screen if you want. And it's a full app coming from the Microsoft Store, which makes it a little better. Uh, another uh, new feature, if you use virtual desktops, well, the desktops can be named now. So you can say, okay, this is desktop three. I want to name it uh, productivity, for example, and have other things open and, and, you know, and so on. So each, of course, will have its own set of things. Uh, so one can be, you know, productivity and you have word and, and anything that has to do with work, for example. Uh, another one could be fun. So you have some games or stuff and, and so on. But before you couldn't name them. Now you can name each desktop with the name that you wish that uh, to give it. So this is the cool thing about, uh, one cool feature about uh, the uh, next version of Windows 10. Uh, some of the features I will talk about are have started to be implemented in the November 2019 update, but are actually improved on this version. So there are some stuff that are actually changing in here. Uh, other things that are of interest if you are on the uh, Windows updates and you see and you check what for updates. Uh, one of the things that is going to happen is if you have optional updates, there's actually going to be a optional update option here where it's going to tell you, well, okay, you've got uh, these, um, these updates that uh, are um, to be, of course, installed and each type of update. Uh, so a, um, you know, Cumulative update or important uh, security update, those will be pushed. But any cumulative update that fixes bugs with no security will be there. A driver updates will be there. They're all going to have a separate space where this is going to happen. So it's all going to be uh, displayed separately from each other in optional updates, which is nice. I don't have any optional updates right now, so that's why there's not, that information is actually not there. If I did have optional updates, it would actually tell me right now that I would have some. Uh, cloud download or cloud install when you actually install Windows 10. So, of course, one of the options about the uh, installing Windows 10 is the fact that when you actually um, download uh, or, or get, you know, Windows 10, what happens is that you have the options, you had the options to, um, you know, check out, uh, install with, you know, a USB thumb drive, or you had the option of an internal uh, update that you might have, or a local update that you might have of, uh, you know, an image of Windows and stuff like that. So now, new option, you have local reinstall here, but here is new, cloud download. If you don't have a copy of Windows 10, you can actually click cloud download. It's gonna download the latest version and install it for you. Now, it's not necessarily the latest version, which nice, what's nice about the cloud download option, if you were on 
say the uh, version 2004 that's the next version uh, uh, next year but have not you know there have been some new versions available when you click cloud download it's gonna download the exact same version you have on your PC and not the latest latest one so this could be also a very nice option because you know some people don't want to necessarily update immediately to a new version or maybe the new version has something that doesn't work well with your PC well by clicking cloud download you'll be actually just uh, reinstalling the same exact version you're using on your PC which is I think a pretty nice uh, option and the fact that it's cloud download means you don't have uh, to have if you don't have any you know media to install it's it's gonna work and it's gonna be okay a uh, few uh, different options with uh, apps so for example and and, and, and sign in options so in the uh, different options when you uh, actually want to, uh, to sign in you now will have in the uh, sign in options uh, options of passwordless um, of course um, sign in which is something that Microsoft slowly wants to you to actually have so that's one thing you have a new option called restart apps what that is is that if you have some apps that are open and your computer restarts you will actually have the option of getting uh, these apps restarted and displaying the same information of where you were on that um, on that app so if you were you know you had three or four different apps open and they each displayed specific information the apps will restart but restart where you were and what you were actually displaying uh, if the PC needs to restart those that are using tablet mode uh, more options increased uh, spacing between icons and the taskbar so it's easier for you to do the touch thing also um, the uh, keyboard and uh, the different emojis updated here for those of you that actually use the tablet experience in Windows 10 that's all um, updated so that could be something that is of interest to anybody in the in the tablet mode if you want so this is of course the uh, option for uh, anybody that has touch devices which is I think not a bad idea the task manager will display a little more information of different things and hard disk drives and stuff like that. Uh, what else? Notepad is now something that you download from the store. Um, there's some new and upgraded experiences with the game bar, including uh, frames per seconds for all the games that you actually will be uh, using. Uh, improved network icons and, 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 and connectivity information. So all everything in here will actually have new ways. So here you see that the icons have changed Ethernet, private network, and you see here things are actually different. The information about how much data you're using, all of that is updated also a little more. And in the data usage and the uh, different properties, you have more, uh, you have limits and more uh, control over all the data and the information that comes out of there, including in the Windows updates. Uh, kind of a revamped once again some of those things might look the same in the um, in the November 2019 update but in reality there has been some improvements since then also new uh, way of having Bluetooth devices connect uh, especially for the Microsoft devices for now if you have a Bluetooth uh, device mouse keyboard whatever instead of having to absolutely go into devices and Bluetooth and so on You'll actually be able to have little flyouts coming from the uh, quick actions that are going to, of course, help you um, help you um, basically, uh, you know, connect to your devices without having to actually go to the settings and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, these are some of the biggest improvements right now, and um, basically, hopefully, you will find some of that interesting. Uh, Windows subsystem for Linux also updated, by the way, uh, for uh, a better, um, you know, better options, more options, and 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 uh, better um, operations within Windows. So you've got, of course, the Windows subsystem for Linux too. It is already in the November 2019 update, but improved once again for the uh, update that's coming up 
in uh, 2020. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thanks for watching our videos. Hope you enjoyed this advanced look at some of the key features coming up in the version 2004 in April of 2020.